Ms. Hadel, after eight years off and on with the defendant, the two of you called it quits just three months ago because he denies your one-year-old daughter, Amarella. Now, you want to prove to him that he is her biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Andrews, you say you can't trust Ms. Hadel because she's a serial cheater and you are 100% certain that Amarella's not your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Hadel, your relationship ended because of paternity doubt? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. We have had a rough road throughout these seven and a half years. Uh, nine months into our relationship, he um, pregnated another female um, while he was living with me. So, I moved to Kansas and got away from him. Um, we then started our relationship back, and um, I had planned on having another child with him. So I did get pregnant. Amarella came and uh, I think the doubts came because she looks different than our other child. How does Mr. Andrews relate to Amarella because of his paternity doubt? Well, he calls um, his child and Amarella not in front of our children. Really? Is that true, Mr. Andrews? That's, um... That's not right. No, it's not right. That's due to the things that she didn't say it done. She told me two <laughs> different names that my child could be somebody else's child. So how can I trust that? Then at the same time, I received a test message. Hold on. You brought an exhibit. Correct. Is that what is contained in the exhibit, that yes. information? Yes, it is. Step over there, please, sir. These are the reasons you believe you are not the father. You saw sexual text messages from another man. Is that correct? Correct. Explain. The same, the same person who I sent you this test message from is the same guy who she was having an affair with all alone from the whole get-go. So when I seen that test message, my whole thought process was, it's gotta be his baby. What did you read in them? Um, I let you have it any time. Um, and now you're now you chicken, you're scared to come over. Ms. Hadel, is that what these text messages no, said? Uh, I can't tell you word for word. It was I sexual. I know word for word. I bet he does know word for word, but I don't, so I'm not gonna disagree, but anyhow. Was this a man you've been intimate with? Yes. Were the text messages leaning towards the sexual side of conversation? Most likely. Okay. <laughs> so next piece of evidence, you jumped out of the window at 3 a.m. Correct. Who jumped out the window? She did. I was trying to get free from him. But see, but see, the whole He's thing crazy. is... crazy. She leave the house every time. It's always when a private car come, or it's after 3 a.m. That's the only time he able to get away from his wife, so-called. What? It was, that's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So she gets a private call. Right. Then she leaves the house. Right. And it's 3 a.m. Right. How are you getting up at 3 a.m. and leaving the house? Maurice and I were not on that term of trust, so there was no trust. I didn't trust him, he didn't trust me. I get that you all were in a bad place in your relationship, but what does trust have to do with you playing Wonder Woman and jumping out the window? I couldn't, I couldn't walk out my front door because he was barricading my front door. Where were you going? I was going to find comfort. Guess she told you? I already knew this. So you got a smile on your face, but you're in paternity court. I am. I would like for him to get this uh, during the Did time think... that Amarella was conceived um, in May of 2014. I told Maurice everything, who I was with, everything, and told him if he wants to make it work, we're going to make it work. And he came back to Kansas and we conceived Amarella. We were trying for a boy and I wasn't cheating. I stopped. I was being faithful and trying to be a good woman to him. How were you being a good woman? And look, I'm not saying he was perfect either because I'm right. getting to you next. No doubt. Um, <laughs> but how were you being a good woman and you admit that you were on the phone with men, getting text messages, going out, finding comfort, flying out the window at 3 a.m.? This was after eight, seven and a half years. Like, this stuff built up. It was more or less, you d you're doing this to me. I'm going to do it back to you. Listen, you all have been together on and off for eight years. He has two other children three. outside... Three other children outside of the relationship? During our relationship. Ooh. No. Yes. My what son? kind of mess is this? She's lying. Right. She's lying. She's lying. You're gonna get the side eye now. Three children? Let me get back to this exhibit. Hmm. Found a condom so in the car. At least I was using protection and it ain't <laughs> no one else. Do that. Ugh. 
But she know I'm the one who take my daughter to daycare every morning. I don't want to get the dress, take daycare every morning. Little dirty people couldn't even take the condom and throw it away. If you find a condom in the car. So and wait. I showed you. It, oh, it was a dirty condom? It was a dirty condom. Well, no, just I, a pack I, don't, I don't agree with that because I didn't see it. He didn't show me nothing. He showed me a box Ms. of Ms. Hadel, did you have sex with a guy in the car? Yes. No. He found what? condoms in the car, but like I said, they were in a wrapper. They haven't been used. And if he's saying he's found a used no. wrapper or a dirty... Used I did not and see yeah, that, and I don't know how it got there. A couple of times. Number four. Four months ago, Ms. Hadel told me about two other potential fathers. Correct. Really? And out of spite, she just go to run in her mouth, and when she get mad, she'll tell herself. He's full of it. And, but I apologize, Hunter. She, told me, two, she uh, told me two other men was dead. His mouth, which I, which, which from I the time already, I wake up which, in the morning until the time I go to sleep, does anyway. not stop. And all he does all damn though. day is talk, 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 talk you, about just... how bad of a person that I am. So when I went out and cheated on him, it was to find security and comfort because... I know what comfort means. I've been doing this long enough, and I'm a woman. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ms. Hadel, did you tell him that there were two other potential fathers? Did you say no, that Honor, to No, Honor, this him? is what I said, and I'm going to let you know what happened. He was t stating, uh, saying, this person and this person is her daddy. I said, okay. Because you was having affairs with okay, both of them. Okay, then, she was having no, I was not. Guys. Either way. So I just agreed with him because that's what he wanted to hear. So I said, okay. Who wanna hear like, that? I'm done arguing with you. Okay, then. And you think I would? So you, you think I would? Oh, you just said, okay, okay. You just, didn't come to him and say, no. I want to tell you that there could potentially no. be two. There is no potential. He's the only one, as I stated, May 2014, when I got with him again, as in, let's work it out, we were planning you to feel, how you, how you have a that? child because I, well, I wanted a boy. Why so feel, why, wouldn't, uh, uh, why would I sleep around with you other people if... I'm in love with him, and I'm trying to make no, it work. No, you wasn't. You were in love so with that, the other okay. guy. Okay. All right. He's insecure about it, because he's no, cheated, and he's made all these babies. No, I'm not. So he's I wanna, see, he I, wants I to throw proof. all the blame on me. I see proof. But I'll, I'm a... She, yeah, like, I can't grow, read. Excuse me, I'm a grown woman, three different and I'll take care and she take knows the I can fault read. for what she I did. She would take a text message and turn the text message straight around. She's got text messages, too. Okay, but I... But I'm not bringing that up. It's not about that. It's about Amarella knowing who her daddy is, and I know who her daddy is. Okay, you said two other guys was. You said two other guys was. I never all said right, that. all right. Let's get some order because you all aren't going anywhere. No. I know one thing. You all sound like you're like 16 years old. Trust me, I know. Arguing back and forth, and you got these little beautiful children. Beautiful. And from what I'm saying, I don't even know how, how you have time to make babies because you don't stop talking. <laughs> if you're doing this in here, I can only imagine what you're doing at home. That's why he's not in my home no more. That's why I left the home. No, he would not leave. It ain't just your home. It was my too, fool. He would not leave. Let's talk about the birth. I don't even know where you all were at in this relationship when Amarillo was born. Like, so I are you trying so to work out. it I was out? Pregnant. Or are you fighting? Are y'all going back and forth? What is happening at her birth? So, eight months pregnant, I find out there's another female pregnant in the same town that we're living in. I'm about to give birth a month later. He was there, got to see this first child born out of whatever six or seven ch children that he does have. This is the first child that he got to see born. So that was very special for him and me as well, having him there. Um, he was there the whole pregnancy, you know, took care, rubbed my back, feet, helped with the kids, helped keep the house clean, you know, whatnot. But, uh, Mentally, he wasn't as good. Affair. So Watch at the birth, did you go to the... So you were there at the hospital because you got to see her be born. Okay, but at the same time, while she was pregnant, she was having the let me Let me tell you something, Mr. With Andrews. guys. What? Right. We can't leave that out. She, while she was pregnant, she was having the fear. And yes, so, I still stay with her. That's hold on. The slow down. Slow down. When, you, when she was pregnant, repeat that testimony. I was getting text messages from guys. You were? She was. She, were you or was she? She. So you were looking in her phone yes. and she was getting text messages from guys. Yes, you are. Saying what? Um, where you at? Um, can I see you? Um, no. The sexual things. Uh, All this while she's pregnant? Yep. 
And then she wouldn't tell the, she wouldn't tell the guy not to call back. I'm right telling tell, tell, tell I can have call. friends, and it's not a, a, a private call. Like I said, or, or, there was or, or, only or one boy, person that I, I had have, friends. I could have no friends for comfort and security, and he did have friends. He had have, tons of friends. I had. We don't want to go. I'm not going into details. Why do you need friends when you're having babies everywhere? You already had another baby. Understandable. I couldn't have no woman friend. Period. So, Miss Hadel, look. I, I want to know this. You're not denying you getting text messages. You didn't deny. You admitted in open court today that you were looking for comfort and security and... But see, and, and, and no, I'm talking. I want to know, did you ever tell any of these other men that they potentially were Amarillo's father? No, no, Your Honor. No. Are you still in touch with this man or men that gave you the comfort and the... Are you still in touch with them no, now? I don't That's need to lie. seek comfort because I don't, I'm not getting hurt from him. Listen, Your Honor. I'm happy. So the guy, she just lied. Two, a week ago, one of the guys was over a house where her brother just moved down um, there. This is a friend showed, I've never been friend, sexual man, with. Man, and he is talking about a friend a being at my home. Who, said, who you said was, my, was Amarella Father. It's a man I've never been who sexual you know with I had person. contact with. It, it, they really had phys I'm apologize, physical contact with over this situation, over this situation. Because he's delusional. This, he thinks I leave, I've been sexual you had this with this man person. at the house where I just left from. He's delusional. And then you show me on the phone like, ha, 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 ha. When you know, ha, that's not funny. I didn't find that funny by far. Then she's lying about the married dude. She's still in contact with him. She just made a lie, two lies up just then. Like, you ain't in contact with one of them. I was just shit lying. I know she is. And first and foremost, he is delusional. He thinks I've had sex with Probably the person that he's talking about that was at my man, house. And I've, but I've I know you in contact with the other dude because you showed me on the phone. So Does I, I, anybody I talk period. about Amarella? Me? Anybody? Me? Yes. Me? I, I, I mean, you as, all just... As I stated, that's the only reason why I'm here. Yeah, he wants to bring I up dirt. I do not care about I just any don't of say, it. Is you not just going to be going around talking about some Amarella ain't mine? No, I don't, I don't even do that. That was a lie. That was a lie statement she just made then. I don't be saying another friend of kids. She the one with the nasty mouth friend of kids while you're talking. So either way, it's not right. And I want this to be done and over with so that we can move on. At least my kids will know um, everything that daddy was saying about mommy is wrong. I mean... It, 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 and then it, let's be honest. Stop talking. You can't be proud of yourselves. The situation is hideous. It's just listening to you all. I can only imagine what these children have witnessed and what they've heard. Exactly. You can't be proud of that. I don't care what he did, she did, this, exactly. that, nothing. You all are barely mentioning the children in here today. It's just about what one of you did to the other. Your Honor, I'm not bringing up any dirt. Like I said, I'm just responding to what he's saying, but I'm only here for Amarella. So that's the only reason why I'm here. I'm not I, here to bring you know, up dirt. I'm only here because I got doubt. I'm not here to that's the bring up here. what he's done to me. I've been hurt. Because I got doubt. But regardless, Amarella's his. Look at and that, I want to prove at, that to him. Look at everything you've done. Why would I have doubt? Members. I can see that the only way we're going to try to figure out how to move forward with you two in this new business you all are running is to get the results. Jerome, I'm ready. Thank you. Good, good. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Hadel versus Andrews, when it comes to 14-month-old Amarella Andrews, it has been determined by this court When it comes to 14-month-old Amarella Andrews, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Andrews, you are the father. You, you have tears in your eyes. How do you feel in this moment? I love, I love her regardless. It's my daughter's sister, so it didn't make me no different if I was or wasn't. I just wanted to... Pr oh, it didn't? Yes, it did. I'm tired of you talking to circles, Mr. Andrews. Mm-hmm. Both of you doing a whole bunch of verbal gymnastics ain't nobody shaping up. Just talking, running your mouth. 
You gotta be careful when your watch and your mouth are bigger than your brain and your heart. What you all displayed up in this courtroom today is shameful. Two grown people running around town. I mean, this is just ridiculous. You got these little girls? How many children do you have, Mr. Andrews? How many? Seven. Seven. How many girls, how many boys? Five girls, two boys. Five girls. Now, we really gonna get with you today. You are the example to those little girls as to what a man should act like, how a man should talk to them, and how a man should treat them. If you can't be in a healthy relationship, don't be in one. Sometimes you have to let go to grow. (laughs) Ms. Foster, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant fathered your 17-month-old daughter, Sianna, a beautiful little girl born with extreme medical needs. You've dragged him to court to order he pay the support he's been neglecting. Mr. Fields, you say you're 100% certain that you are not her child's father because she was pregnant before you met. Yes, Your Honor. You claim to have proof to support your case. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Foster, tell me about Sienna and what exactly has Mr. Fields done for her? He has done nothing. Nothing? Nothing. He brought her about three onesies and two pair of socks. And she has medical needs. I'm sure you have extreme financial hardship associated with maintaining her health? Tiana had three surgeries. She had open heart. She had diaphragm and a G-tube. Right now, um, she's having some development problems. So we're just having follow-ups in Syracuse with all the rest of her doctors. And there's just been no support? She came to the hospital probably about four times, but when he was there, it was just to have relations with me. I think that's a lie, Your Honor. I think that's a lie. I met Shania on Facebook, you understand? Um, Shania proclaimed to be a virgin. She came and seen me about the 31st of May that, that, that month. What happened the first night? She came to my house, you understand? I, she had bought some new shorts. I was trying to be respectable and I asked her, do you want to go in the bathroom and change your clothes? She tells me no. Take off her pants right there in front of me. I'm still sitting in the bedroom. One thing led to another. This is the first day you met her. The first day I seen her. You had sex that night on the night she got dropped off? The the day she got dropped off, I had sex with her. Her mom came and picked her up because her mom came to my house and picked her up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I thought you said she, well, she was, a, she was a virgin? She was not a virgin, Your Honor. I had multiple stories of her telling me how many dudes she done, you know, slept with and all that. This girl was Ms. not a Foster, virgin. Ms. Foster, he said that you were saying you were a virgin at that time. Were you? I was practically. Before him, there was some was other guy. There was how some other guy. How can you be guy. practically a virgin? There was some other guy before That's him. Impossible. I don't count that as a partner. You said you, you were pra- there was a practically g- a yeah. virgin. Yeah. yeah. You can't practically be a virgin. What does practically a virgin mean? Practically mean it didn't go all the way. What do you mean? So wait a minute, let me understand this, Ms. Foster. What you're saying is, is you had intercourse with someone previously, but you did not finish the act. Yes. Okay. Is that written somewhere that that's called practically a virgin? I've never heard that. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm I'm not even laughing. Thank you. Have you ever heard of that, Jerome? I've never heard of that one. If I was in Syracuse and Jay Quah had a phone and I called him and told him where I am, he would come to me. How long ago was I, that? I don't know this whole front that he's on, that he's on right now, but I think it's because his girl's here, whatever, wife, whatever she wants Your to Honor, be. Your Honor, I got because evidence that tonight call just him, called my mother asking her for him. my phone number. If I was on... Wait a minute, Mr. Fields, you say you have evidence that says that... I have evidence that that my mom just called my phone saying that Shania called her asking for my phone number. I did not call her. What would be wrong wrong with that? Inboxing my little brother on Facebook. What is wrong with that? There's no need for it. We was already coming here. What was the need for her? So you're saying that she was inboxing your mother and your brother uh-huh. trying to chase you down yep. because she's... She, even, she was even... Listen, if you're saying even she's... Listen, she's saying she's... Your She's Your texting Honor? your wife trying to get in touch with you. I never text his wife. My wife. I never I, text his wife. I have never got, known him for three days ago. Let's get some order. You're saying that Ms. Foster was trying to get your number 
and was texting your brother and your mother trying to get your phone number. Right. I'm asking you, why is this out of the ordinary if she believes you're her child's father? Of course because she would try to get in touch with you. You think she's trying to get in touch with you because she wants to be with you? No, 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 no. I'm, I, listen, I'm married. I'm, I'm well, I'm really happy married. You Where's understand? the ring? What it is Where's is... Where's the ring? Sin Where's the ring? Bring evidence of that. Where's the paper? Where's the, where's the marriage certificate? Where's that? So, so, so wh what is the problem with her what trying to get is, in touch with you? What it is is, Shania, I don't know what I did, but Shania is like really, really like obsessed. Obsessed. And what she'll do is she'll text you. my wife. I left you. You were crying to me, begging to come back with that, me. That, how that, you want your family. Way. So why, you why, why would you Sinai. make my you life a people, living hell? You I don't even talk to you. I haven't oh. talked to you in a while. We, like, I don't understand where he's coming from. He just was talking to me two days ago. No, I wasn't. Telling me how he loves me, how this is not going to work because Bruh, his family doesn't you, like Wait, her, time out, because now you're lying. Everything. Now, now um, you're lying. I and I have evidence right here, actually. Show me some evidence. Yes, I do. Show me some evidence I was talking to you. You, this evidence shows what, Miss Foster? That this is not going to last with her. Where that's coming this from? This is temporary. What is this? A Facebook message. A Facebook message that a... says, I still have love for you that will never change. I wish we would have had a longer relationship. <laughs> Even with my girlfriend now, our relationship not going to last long. Listen, I haven't had this a Facebook... This is from Mr. Field? I have not had a yes, Facebook in six months. Yes. You're saying you didn't write this Listen, post. Listen, I didn't write it. I don't be. I don't get on Facebook. He's lying I don't. I don't so own a Facebook. So bad. This is a whole front right now. I swear to God, I'm telling you, Jayquell knows I'm that woman. If I wanted him, I can have him. You're cutting. You're cutting. I can have him, You're and he cutting. knows that. This is a front right now. Did you ever have sex with Miss Foster without protection? And I, I would no, admit that I'm a real person. I have protection, Your Honor. This girl said she was on the depot. Never. The depot shot is birth control. Approximately 99% effective from not getting pregnant. I don't know what he's talking about, but I have not became on the depot, and I haven't even dealt with him since January into last month. We, when I was that, with him, that, I was no. on the pill, and I lost, I didn't take we it that day. We talked about the lot before the baby was born. Were you? And he was there at the hospital. Your birthday. You thought the baby was there at the hospital. So, Mr. Fields, you came to the hospital uh -huh. for the birth. Mm -hmm. And why was that if um, you didn't think the child was yours? Because of the, me the medical condition that the baby was in. You know, I didn't want to just up and leave. He was there through the whole pregnancy, basically, and, and except a month. And I just feel like if you were there and you thought of denial of if I was already pregnant or whatever, then why were you there through the whole time? Why did you come into my home? My mom accepted you. You're staying at my house. Your mother's here, right? Please stand, ma'am. Step up to the Thank podium. you. Okay. What would you like to add to this, and what do you know about this situation? He was involved in the beginning of her pregnancy. He was there. He went to doctor's appointments. When we went to Syracuse, he would come to... The, he would meet us at the doctor's appointment. He would stay there. He would be there. He comfort my daughter. He was worried... You know, he was asking questions about the baby because they found three holes in her heart. Because he was involved with my daughter and because he was concerned about my, my grandchild, you know, I, I accepted him. Me and my husband accepted him. I, I sat down with him. Me, my husband, my daughter, and Jay Quill all sat down in my living room. Yep. And we said, do you want to be with her? If you don't want to be with her, don't think because of this baby, you have to be with her. He said, I promise you, this is the girl I am going to marry. I, I, I did not tell you nothing like That's that. That's what he said. Mr. Field, you're saying you don't believe you are Sienna's father. Nope. But you've been present. I was. For so much of the pregnancy, the preg the even in the beginning, her birth, why is it that you decided to just leave the entire situation alone and turn your back on it? Because it wasn't, it wasn't left up to me. That's the reason why. So it would have been your choice to stay I mean, and I was to thinking, support the child? Yeah, I would have I did what I had to do for the baby, but, I mean, it wasn't left up to me. So, I mean, like I said, well, why would she put me through this? So I said, you know, this is not my baby. I would tell him to come to the hospital and he wouldn't. He would not show up. And the three times he has came, nah, he like I said, he would be on the he would be on the Xbox or he would be trying to have So relations what do with you him. think happened, Ms. Foster? Why why all of a sudden this young man that's going with you to doctor's appointments and sitting down family. and having family meetings? His family got into My his mom head. Was in Texas. Uh, me and his mother Texas. actually had a good relationship. So I I honestly don't know what happened. Towards the end, I'm not gonna lie, I would 
be, I was really rude to Jay Quavo during my pregnancy because I was underneath a lot of stress. I was living an hour away from him and it was like he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't there. So it was like when I go to an appointment, I expect you to show up to the appointment because you live down the street. If I tell you two weeks in a time that my appointment is on this date, then you can take off of work and be there to my appointment. That's the least is you, you can do. Is you gonna take off work well, to come do you to think, my appointment? Listen, with, it, listen. She was pregnant with twins. You know, Not and, at that and time. she lost the baby. And when she lost the, the the baby, you know, he was he was there. He was. You know what he, was he was not there. He actually. I mean, he was, I'm not saying. When he I was told there, him I lost my was... twin, when I told him that the doctor said the twin was gone, he said, "Suck it up and get over it." That's what he told me to do. Life goes on, man. Mr. Fields. And then came. Mr. The Fields, I'm 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 trying to work with you because I really do see through this ignorant attitude you're displaying today, nah, I'm, I'm, I see through it. So, but I'm, I, but now, now, you getting on my nerves. Now, I'm telling, I'm telling you. Your little cavalier. I mean, I mean. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This cavalier, I don't care, everything's a shrug of the shoulders, nothing matters to me. When we're sitting here talking about a child, that literally is fighting for her life to have a healthy life, and everything is life goes on, I don't care, this, that, and the third. And from where I sit is so fake. I mean, it really is mm. irking me. Thank because you. what you're Thank acting you. like is so fake, mm -hmm. macho nonsense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can probably do more push ups than you right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, hold on. Listen, now, listen, hold on, listen, hold on. Listen. You, this fake, this, this fake stuff no, you're no, doing you, right now you, when you, a child is man. at stake, sir, this isn't good. You know good and well you talk to these people. You know you cared about this child. When this mother sit here and talks about the conversation she's had with you, I keep coming back to your eyes to see well, is she lying or is, he, is, is she telling the truth? Did he have that conversation? No, we did. Was he there? And everything in your body language says that, that you were there. In, uh, what I want to understand is why would a young man that cared enough to sit down in these family meetings, go to appointments, nope. sit here through the birth of this child, all of a sudden now stand in this courtroom and act like nothing matters? What happened? And it, I'm telling you, I need the answer to that. Because it's they, important they, to the they child. Happened. They happened. I'm, I'm, what happened? They, they happened. There was a point in time at her birth, after her birth, because you're saying when she was born, he was there. Mm -hmm. He was there, but was. before that, Your Honor, we were not on a good page. I actually told him, don't even show up to the hospital and I want nothing to do with And me. then he came anyway. He came. Which then furthers my argument of why I want to know would a young man that you say you mad at, you under stress, don't even come, I'm sick of you, we're not getting along... He comes anyway. Yeah. That only furthers my point that this thing that you're doing right here is not jiving with me. The man that's acting the way you acting right now, I don't when know she him said right don't, I don't even come, you'd have been like, oh well, I'm not going. I'll go over was, here. It was because of so my mother the reason anyway. why I came. My mother is the reason why I came. Right, so what I'm trying to figure out now, there's something now that created a distance. When you started being with your wife and, and, your, and your girlfriend or whatever your relationship is. Did you feel support in terms of helping and figuring out what was going on with Sienna? Or did you just decide, I need to move on? At the hospital, it just went from... Like, she just went zero to 100. Like, and it was just... Her mother calls me going bananas, telling me what she gonna do to me, mm -hmm. da, 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 this and that. So that, that right there is what, what actually started this distance. Started thing. the distance. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, I started talking to different females and then I'm getting, you know, yo, so who, who is such and such? And then they talk about Shania and I'm like, well, it's my baby mom's. Well, why she inboxing me on Facebook telling me that you talk to this person, you doing this, happened. you're a liar, you're Never. a cheater. Mm -hmm. You also stated earlier in your testimony you felt like Miss Foster was obsessed with you. That mm -hmm. just really, she can't get past it and she's calling people mm -hmm. and trying to reach you. Does this interaction cause a problem in your new relationship with your wife? Every day. That's what Your I'm Honor. thinking. I did have some type of feeling for Shania, but then when I went and found somebody new, it was like I told Shania I was happy somewhere else. He and never told me that. Just went like, he, he it never went from here that. to like all lie. the way down here. And so is the distance furthered now? Yes. Because of your new relationship and what you say is a difficult 
back and forth between you and Miss Foster, which only separates you further from Sienna, which you acknowledge could possibly be your child. Correct. All right. Now, I understand the distance, mm -hmm. and I'm ready <laughs> for the results. <laughs> your own. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Foster versus Fields, when it comes to 17-month-old Sienna Foster, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Fields, you are her father. I step up to take care of my child. Can I hold her? I want you to hold your daughter, and I want you to help take care of your daughter and be there for her and support her. You gotta work together. I, I, it, there's just no other way. You all have talked about a lot of things that have gone on in the past that have kept you apart, but this little girl needs you guys to figure out how to come together. Start talking about this thing and working through. You guys can figure this out. Mr. Fields, I knew something about you. I was just not buying this thing you were, this attitude you were having. No matter how hurt you get and how often you're misunderstood or even how often you get it wrong, you can begin again. You started off the right way, doing right by this little girl. Might as well be with her. Step back into the picture and be present again. All right? Don't let anyone or anything stop you. That's your baby. Ms. Gray, you say the defendant, Mr. Pearson, has ripped your family apart because of his denial that he is your 10-month-old daughter, Kamaya's dad. You say he never denied your two oldest kids but refuses to believe he is the biological dad of baby Kamaya, your youngest. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Pearson, you claim that not only are you not baby Kamaya's father, but you know that her dad is actually a member of your own family. Yes, Is Your that Honor. right, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Gray, you say you have two older children together. Yes, Your Honor. But he does not pay Kamaya any mind. No, Your Honor. What are your hopes for today, really? I just want him to be a part of her life. Granted, I, will, I would love to have my family all together because that's what I really came here for. I just want him to treat her the way he treats the other ones. He treats them way more better than he treats her. He buys them things. He don't buy her nothing. Is that true, Mr. Pearson? Yes, Your Honor, it is. It is true? Yes, it is. And that's because of the doubt you say you have? Yes, ma'am. I don't know how you ignore a beautiful baby like that. It's not right. The older children, how old are they? One and two. Do you feel like they can feel or understand that something's going on? Or no. is it just because you know and you see the difference? I know and I see the difference. Mr. Pearson, why do you doubt Kamaya is your child? She slept with my cousin, Your Honor. What? Exactly what? <laughs> <laughs> how did you find that out? Being the fact that he was at my house while I was leaving to go to work, and I just left it be. I didn't question it. You know, I thought I could have more trust in my cousin. And uh, we moved in with them. You moved in with your cousin? Yeah, because at that time, I didn't have suspicions until, you know, we started to move out. And I started thinking, I said, I wonder what he was coming to my house for. I'm leaving to go to work. So who was he there for? And then I moved out of there, and I moved to a friend of mine's house. That's when they uh, allegedly started messing with each other. But I look at it as if you did it once, you did it then, you've done it before, you've done it, or you'll do it again. I'm a man. I know what it's like. We as men, we can be dogs. Well, all right, say uh, that. You know, and that's the truth. I'm going to accept that into evidence <laughs> as fact. <laughs> Ms. Gray, did you sleep with his cousin? Yes, I did. It was revengeful. It was revengeful because he left me in North Carolina when I was pregnant with our son, DeMonte, to go be with his cousin's ex-girlfriend. Not only that, they have a kid together. So, yes, I slept with his cousin several times, too, because See, it was go. revengeful. Now the truth come out. Mr. Pearson, <laughs> you, you were never told it happened more than once? Actually, he the one that told me. 
and he told me that it happened, and I, I confronted her about it, and she lied to me, 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 and she still lies to me about it, Your Honor. At first, she told you how many times did she sleep with him? Oh, oh it was two different stories. Then, uh, first, it, it happened once, and it happened at my aunt's house, allegedly. And then in the second time I asked her, she's the type of person you gotta ask her a thousand times to get the truth. So I asked her again, I said, so you slept with my cousin? Yes, I did. Okay, where did it happen at? It happened at his house. Oh, so how many times did it happen? Because now I got two different yeah, I stories. Know, I never told him that it happened at his aunt's house. I never said that. That never came out my mouth because I knew it didn't happen at his aunt's house. Neither the house that we was living in that he's talking about did his cousin come while he was working because he wasn't working. I was the only one who was working in that house. Either way it goes, if they was able to build relations then, at that present time, I'm quite sure they was able to build relations before. There like was I said, no I am a man, so, and I know how the game rolls. Now, wait. So, in your court papers, when you say you believe a family member is Kamaya's father, you believe that's your cousin? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, look at it. The baby looks like my cousin. He accused me of sleeping with everybody, Your Honor. Yes, Even Your Honor, when I'm I not did, sleeping with nobody, she couldn't tell he me the continues. Truth. Ms. Gray, did you ever tell the cousin you were pregnant, too? I was already pregnant when I slept with his cousin, so there's no way that that's his cousin's baby, but he's too dumb to realize science. But... So, so, you, so let me ask you this. Have you ever told the cousin that he potentially could be Kamaya's father? No, I told him that he wasn't the father, and he insisted to me that he was the father, and I said, well, if you think you're the father, you go buy a DNA test. I told both of them to go get a DNA test. I have nothing to prove. She's the one that has to prove that this child is mine. I don't have to prove that this child is mine. If she was so interested in telling me, proving to me that I am the father, why she couldn't get, get me a DNA test the day that baby was born? Like, I completely... I tried to uh, do that. Hold on, hold on, baby hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Pearson, when she told you were pregnant, what? did you know anything about the cousin when she told you she was pregnant? No, I didn't. So when she told you, you immediately assumed that it was your child? Yes, I did. But this cousin says... Ms. Gray, that he insists is his child. Mm -hmm. Jerome, I would love to hear from this cousin. Yeah, let's hear from so him. Wouldn't you? Yes. I have... <laughs> Joining us from his hometown, we have the cousin. Mr. Pearson, thank yeah. you for joining us today. You see the resemblance? Mr. Pearson, we're here talking about the paternity relating to baby Kamaya. Ms. Gray has testified that you've indicated that Kamaya is your biological child, and Mr. Pearson, your cousin, has indicated that he is aware that you were sleeping with Ms. Gray. Are these things true? Yes, Your Honor. Um, uh, I was aware that she was pregnant um, as... Being who the father was, neither one of us knew because at that time, she did tell me that she was pregnant, but the time frame between when she had the baby and the time frame when I slept with her, it felt like it could have been mine, so... When you say she told me she was pregnant, did she come to you and say, I'm pregnant and this child could be yours, or did you, you just found out she was pregnant through the family? At first, no, she was like, she's pregnant. And I was like, well, do you know who it is? And she was like, it's your cousin, Theo. But when the baby was born, me and my cousin saw the baby and we had our own judgment as he thought, since he already knew about me sleeping with his baby mama, he thought, well, that I could be the father. And I thought that maybe I could be the father too because look at the baby. And so I asked her, I said, do you, do you know if I'm the father or not? And she said, well, if it's anybody, is this between you and your cousin? Did she ever tell you you were Kamaya's father? Not directly. Basically how she said you get a DNA test basically to prove uh, who the father is. So she admitted that she's gonna have to have a DNA test? Yes. But if she didn't think that I was a father, why would she need a DNA test in the first place? Exactly my question. This is what I said. He said, uh, before we even had sexual intercourse, he said, you're pregnant, right? And I said, yeah. Then we had sexual intercourse. When I had my child, neither one of them two came up there to see her. Oh. He told me to send a picture of her. That's when he started denying her. I constantly tell Mr. Pearson, right here, that he is the father. 
And he insists that it's, it's Alex, baby. So what I told them to do was, how about y'all go get a DNA test? Because I know who I slept with and I know when I got pregnant. But you also told Mr. Pearson it just happened one time. So in that way, you weren't telling the truth. Now you see where I get my doubts, Your Honor? And that's exactly what I was getting to. That, I mean, we have to say that there is a level of credibility to this doubt Mr. Pearson is expressing because he hasn't gotten a straight answer. Never have. And so Never if... Never And look, I'm just saying, if we're lying about how many times, why not also lie about when? Yeah. And that is coupled with the fact that his cousin, the other Mr. Pearson, has indicated that he counted back the dates from when you had Kamaya, and he felt like there could be a question of paternity. Yeah, but it's not his baby. And I told him that several times that it's not his baby. Do you believe that, Mr. Pearson? No, I do not, Your Honor. Was your cousin coming over the house before yes, that Honor. time? Yes, Your Honor. I would, like I said, I would leave to go to work and he would be leaving... He would be coming up, dropping mm. his... from dropping his baby mom off at work. And I'd be leaving out to go to work. Wow. What for? I don't understand. It don't... It don't... It, something don't add up here. S Mr. And Pearson... my whole thing was, if it's happened once... <laughs> like she said, it's happened several times. If they build that relationship... Then, how could it be, how could it not have been built beforehand? He was just sex. It was revenge. No, it is no just sex. He it was, was it was a revenge. Built. There's no relationship. Every time I've laid down with a woman, I've had to build some sort of relationship with her. That's you. Correct. You Correct, can officer? have sex with somebody and not show Thank no you. type of feeling. Mr. Pearson, how do you do that to your cousin? Now you know he's on his way going to work. No, it was it wasn't like how how he puts it. I wouldn't just come over there just because he'd be going to work or anything like that. They had a son there. I would always go over there to see Demonte. I would go play with Demonte. I didn't disrespect him until he disrespected me. In all honesty, it sounds like you went over to play with Demonte and then you ended up playing with his mother. No. <laughs> That's what I call the ultimate play date. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, we did not have sex until I mo we moved in with Alex. Mr. Pearson, you get yourself in a position where you're alone with Miss Gray, and you know this is the mother of your cousin's children. Was this for you just sex as well, or did you have some affinity for this woman? It was just out of spite because I felt I had such a strong bond with my ex, and... and I did, when he went up there and had a baby by my ex, it kind of, it, it just kind of broke me down. As in, I just broke up with her. We're, we're dealing with what we're dealing with and I broke up with her and you're gonna go up there and sleep with her, move in with her and have a baby by her. It kind of, you see what I'm saying? And it was months on end before I even did anything after he even slept with my ex, before I even did anything with his baby mama. It was months on end, months on out. So the bottom line is this is a three-way revenge because yeah. you had sex with his ex, moved in with her and had a baby with her. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'm getting a light bulb. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you were intimate with Ms. Gray? More than like seven months ago. So that's since the baby was born. They were still having relations. <laughs> and then she wonder why I don't want to be with her. I care yeah, less if you want to be with, with me. You young people, you all making me nervous now. You all just 21 and 22 years old with all of this going on? I mean, I, I can take care of my kids. No, that, no, it's know? not, it, listen. I go to work every day, unlike listen, this one. You're gonna I take care of the job. kids. The, the, the issue is you need to stop making them. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. Because you're I, not, want, you're I, not, want, I want, I want You're not gonna stop kids. making children. I want, I want kids. The Bible says be fruitful. The, hold on, don't start on the Bible with me. You supposed Are to you be married? married before you... Are you married? married? Okay, so the Bible also says get married. I don't mind you wanting to have children, but you need to do it right. Because this is what I wanted to know, ultimately. There's been a lot of tit for tat, a lot of moving around, a lot of jokes, a lot of you don't have to be with me, you don't... This is all child's play. You all are kids. You really shouldn't even be here right now. You need to be in college. Actually, I need now, to be at work. So, so, so... And you know what, Mr. Pearson, you're right. You need to be at college and work because you got to take care of all these kids. No, I, and you, I too. Go to college. Yes. I can tell. 
And that's what I don't like because you are three beautiful young people. You are going all around the town, getting back at one another, doing all this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, when you stand here, Ms. Gray, though, and you talk about your family, I want you to talk to me about what your family, having a family means to you. And why is it important for you? I just want him to be a part of her life. I grew up without my dad. So I know how that feels. I don't want my child to grow up and be like, oh, where's my daddy, where's my daddy? When he was there all along, but he just didn't want to be. A family to me means loved ones who can come together, who can sit at the table and talk to each other and tell them how, they, how their day was. Waking up in the morning, and you see that person every day. You see your kids every day. You feed them and everything. I want that. I want my family. And I believe that. And, you know, you know Mr. Pearson, you've had a tough road to tell. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Because you have not done right all the time. No, I haven't. But the point is, is you also had reasonable doubt in this particular mm -hmm. situation. And I and can only you, imagine to, if you have two children with someone and then you truly have that doubt about the third, how do you handle it? I don't think you handle it to the best of your ability, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think you're old enough and p possess the maturity necessary. To handle it. To Thank handle you. it. And that's, and that's my problem with all three of you all. But when you can't get a straight answer... That's, that's about a relationship. Me the assumptions. And you're catching lie after lie after lie. How then that you? doubt really festers. And so I have the answers for you all today. And I hope the, this truth will be a seed for you all to grow better future for you and this baby. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Gray versus Pearson, pertaining to whether Mr. Alexander Pearson or Mr. Theodore Pearson is the father of 10-month-old Kamaya Pearson, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Theodore Pearson. Can I see my daughter, Your Honor? I, I want to go, go be with my daughter now. I'm ready to be with my daughter now. Good. So listen, you all got to figure out how to have real relationships. And that requires a level of maturity that you may not possess. But now that you have all of these children, we got to grow up. Because we're kids raising kids. And I know one thing. I can see the look of sadness and sorrow in her eyes and the look of intensity in your eyes. You don't want your children in a courtroom like this.